what's about to happen to you. You leave now. Some consider these traits to be toxic, such as undesirable in the men of today. We consider these traits such as these not only to be desirable, but to be appreciated and celebrated. Welcome to the Toxic Male Appreciation Show, hosted by Armm and Lorena Crior. Welcome to the safe space for the toxic male. What's about to happen to you? You leave now. Some consider these traits to be toxic, such as undesirable in the men of today. We consider these traits, such as these, not only to be desirable, but to be appreciated and celebrated. Welcome to the Toxic Male Appreciation Show, hosted by Armm and Lorena Crior. Welcome to the safe space for the toxic male. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Toxic Male Appreciation Show, where we not only appreciate, but celebrate toxic men. You, you know, those traits that the media tries to uh, tries to shame you for. We do not shame them for you here. Al although I will say we will shame you if you refuse to show those toxic traits. Mm -hmm. Then then yes, then, then it's fair game to share you. It, wouldn't, wouldn't you say so? <laughs> I agree 100%. We want to see it all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't hide it from us, please. <laughs> so how are you doing, my dear? I'm doing great. I cannot believe that a week from today is Thanksgiving, Lorraine. Yeah, I am just in shock. I know it's November, but I am not ready. I wasn't prepared for this. Really? I just... It's so strange living down here in, in the South. When I lived up North, it was kind of like, oh, you know, the trees, the leaves are turning color. I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy it some more with like the pumpkins and the cooler weather and, and just enjoy that sweater weather. But here in Florida, since there is no such thing, it's like right after Halloween, it's just everybody starts clearing out the stores of Christmas merchandise. I'm starting to get why, because without that visual indicator, you, you don't know it's fall. And if you go into the craft stores, there isn't any fall merchandise. It's all Christmas merchandise, you know. So uh, that's okay. I wound up buying a bunch of cr more Christmas decorations already. So yeah, I I plan the, the day before Thanksgiving. I have all my stash ready. <laughs> Thanksgiving Day, as soon as Santa Claus appears in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, it's official. I'm start putting up everything. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I will be doing pretty much the same. Oh, well, folks, I know it's been a long time coming, but we're going to hit you with a double shot in today's show. We are going to be watching the last two episodes of The Terminal List starring Chris Pratt. So if you are watching this on YouTube, you will get the replay of episode seven on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern, and you will get the replay of the season finale, aka episode eight, actually on Thanksgiving Day. So when you're probably full of turkey and sitting on the couch or whatever, just Tune into my channel at 5 p.m. Eastern to watch the replay so you can get the season finale of our watch party. And if you need more, you can go back and watch all the other watch parties, too. We are on one minute and 28 seconds. I'm sorry. I'm going to let you finish up your thought. <laughs> so, folks, we are on episode seven. 
which I did not catch. Oh, uh, nope, extinction. Hmm. Boy. Is he back in his house? It looks like it. And he had that sort of great escape that we saw. That was crazy, wasn't it? It was. And very Not impressive. Only sure was oh no no worries i i keep forgetting there's a delay on the mic and not only was it um yeah it was impressive because impressive because of his escape and impressive because he was actually thinking of someone else you know to save that one officer's life yes There's a picture that's on the window. How cr how crazy. You see the picture was uh taped to the window, but his memory of is of them first getting the house. Aww. Man with priorities. <laughs> I just paint over the wallpaper. Mm hmm He's that's like, exactly what he does, isn't it? I, that's what I wanted to have my gun safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if he knows that's the perfect room for his his equipment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fifteen hours earlier. Oh, okay. This is interesting going back in time like this. Agreed. Ring that bell. Gee, that log looks heavy. It is really heavy. No, that's an operation code name, right? Mm -hmm. Odin's word. Yeah. Ah, get out of jail free card. I would I wouldn't stay there mm -hmm. No, he can take down 5,000 sailors. Yeah, I'm just like, it, it's kind of like the old guard who doesn't think, who thinks they're untouchable. And it's just like, 
This couldn't possibly happen. That's a court, uh, San Diego. Is he mm -hmm. watching? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's possible. Mm. Yeah, the boat sways, right? Yeah, that just hit me. Something happened in Mosul or something that they did in Mosul. But I bet you, I'm oh, sorry. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I bet you it was a matter of last resort in Mosul. Very possible. Because his buddy said, yeah, he's got a family. He's just like, okay. He's kind of reminding him. So whatever they had to do in Mosul must have been mm, something else. <laughs> Ooh, who sent that to her? Arrest. Good luck. The only way they're going to stop loss of life is if they stay out of his way. <laughs> mm -hmm. He still thinks he can still do this. Without any uh, collateral damage. You expect me to tell you? So
Mm. You know she right. They have no other leads. No other lead. You would think that they would do this. Although I find it interesting that they didn't do a deep dive on this guy in the first place, but eh, I'll allow it. <laughs> Isn't this convenient? Really? Now, Langley, that's FBI. Mm -hmm. He don't look so good. <laughs> yeah. Feeling kind of tense, ain't you? War calm. He didn't pick up. Because he wants this off the grid. Because he knows they have to get out. No. Like that? <laughs> yes, it is. When she was a uh... Oh my gosh. It's bugged. Wow, when did they do that? Now, one of the things that Navy SEALs do know how to do, and learn this from Chris Kyle's book, American Sniper, how to sew. It, it sounds weird, but when I read it in the book, it made it made sense. As a matter of fact, the guy who developed the TRX um, workout regimen that just has like the straps and put Navy SEAL. Interesting. Very interesting. Read American Sniper if you haven't. I, I would highly suggest reading that um, as like a side companion to the book that this series is based on. I'm gonna get the audio book. I would highly suggest that too. Especially if you don't have time to read. <laughs> He 
telling him to bail. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, oh, it's a bomb vest. Oh, oh, shoot. This is this. Mm. This question comes up a lot around him. You sure you want to do this? He's like, eh, I don't want to, but yeah, I got to. Oh, y'all look real interested right now. So interested they're not watching her? Mm -hmm, that's right. They're not watching her. You called it. What? <sighs> Shell corporations analytics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was his NCIS uh, plant. What does that mean? He'll probably give her all the inside details as to how they made that connection because she doesn't know who those shell corporations map to. They did a deep dive in the computer and figured out that three out of those four corporations mapped to those three officers, those three naval officers. Okay. So she doesn't, so she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't know that part. Uh, okay. His mistake that he should have told them to get in the car, he's taking them somewhere and just drive away. Yeah. That just like, a go out for pizza. Really? Mm -hmm. That doesn't, home early. Yeah, let's go get some early dinner. Let's go to Applebee's. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So his boy got to him first. Folks, we are at 22 minutes and 18 seconds. Call him a leaf eater. <laughs> mm. 
at least not now. This is uncomfortable. Very much so. Get out of jail free card. Mm hmm. That's like in Lethal Weapon 2 saying, I have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> Bring out a bullet in the head. <laughs> the bird has flown. Hit me again. Whoa, that's the hard stuff. Special reserve. Mm hmm How you doing? He know they're not getting away. Mm-hmm. Dang, that's basically, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's like when you give away your stuff when it's, you know, like game over, you start giving away shit. Mm -hmm. He knows he's not going back in there in a while or maybe uh, ever. Uh, it's just like, uh, enjoy. Some people, he can see the signs. Mm hmm. He knows. I think you know. Is he even going to? Yeah, he is fighting back for sure. Mm -hmm. It's between the cars, so maybe you don't see it from the street. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very clever. <gasps> Dang. Oh, 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 that, oh, oh. That. Remember Reacher when he broke that guy's ankle on, on a catwalk? That. Oh, same feeling. He tied him to the same. I think that was his drill sergeant. That's his there. That's his drill sergeant. Or was his drill sergeant. Oh, you're not gonna talk, huh? Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. So they didn't know. Oh, wow. Mm. 
Yeah, but you don't have to screw over your friends. Exactly. Symbolic. Everybody. Throwing his own words in his face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Enjoy that. Damn. That's, oh my gosh. <sighs> Dang. That's a sad but a cool shot, though. It is. Whew. That's got to take something out of him. <gasps> oh, my God, they're all there. And his family. Yes. Yup. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's interesting because he is a former SEAL too, right? Um, the captain? Yeah. Or is he not? I'm not sure. I don't think he is. Because I was going to say, if he, you know, if he was a former SEAL, then he would just do whatever he would need to do for his family, I imagine. Like, mm -hmm. I, that's what I would imagine. He, he would, yeah, he'd die for them. That's. Mm -hmm. See who? I don't know. It's weird. He's saying he has to go see his family. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Yes. Is Hello.
Where are they headed? Uh oh, do you think that's the FBI? I think, yeah, Langley. You got to bury this six feet under. <laughs> mm. We'll take it from here. Yeah. <laughs> What? Oh. oh really? Who signed off on that? For what? Doing his job? All right, you didn't hear this from me. Honest answer, because he still is, too. <laughs> he has the file before he turns it over to the other guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
run, get out of there. <laughs> get it in, run, girl, run. <laughs> run. She, this is where she goes to. <laughs> a public <laughs> library, girl. Oh, you need God. to go to like Starbucks or Panera or something like that, where people, <laughs> majority of people are just like there and then gone, not like camped out. I hope she got a VPN. <laughs> I think they know she where she is. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. They've been watching. They knew she was at the at the precinct or whatever the um wherever mm -hmm. she was. They knew she was there. So awesome. she can't right. She can't sort of like just go underground after that. If she'd stopped by and left, maybe, but mm -hmm. she's not Reese who can kind of slip in and out of you know locations. Mm -hmm. So Hartley is the one who signed off on it. And the sec def signed off on it. Is she talking on a cell phone? She was told not to do that. Not smart. Let me guess. She's going to use the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Public Wi-Fi to send this. She should have used her uh, like her phone text rather than public Wi-Fi. Because that mm -hmm. anything is through. Like, it's like, oh. Okay, my email won't go through, but I can send somebody a text. Yeah. <laughs> and his hands are shaking. Oh my gosh. He's hurting. Hmm. And that's probably why, I mean, he can really, really identify from the one guy they lost from his platoon. He'd never got to see his, see his first baby. Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he has to relive this? Oh, no. God. Everybody died. Oh my gosh. I know there's some vets who said that things were so hard at home, they would rather be back overseas fighting. It's, it's a strange, strange expectation. Interesting word. Oh, God. <sighs> and she's gone. calling him. She told him. Mm -hmm. you know what I told you about the text messages? Yep. <laughs> I don't know why the text messages go through. I have no idea why everything seems to go through the text messages, but you can't send an email sometimes. And like, it's so weird. It's like with the, with the text messages, that's that's kind of like with the cellular, which is why um, sometimes it'll die if you try to, if the Wi-Fi is not not stable. It's it's really weird. It's like it won't it won't send. Like if I try to send someone and like an iMessage test, like sometimes it'll fail, and then it'll say send by regular send as SMS, and then the SMS system will work. So it's like two different systems. Oh, okay. It's crazy. It's like when the Wi-Fi goes down and I can't use Twitter, but if I switch to my 5G, then over Twitter, it's it's very strange, but it's kind of that works. Okay. You look a little green. You all right? <sighs> yeah.
and it's not good. Like, why would my phone be for you? Why would your phone be for me? He didn't put this together. Wow. Oh, he changed his tune really quick. Real fast. Oh, oh, you thought you was big and bad, huh? What? He doesn't know he knows his heart. She knows he Reese knows it's hardly. Mm hmm. Dang. blew up like half the building. Wow. And that's the flag. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not the first time he's used a bomb. No. Oh, is he? Oh, he's he's going to Reese's house. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Is is this the first person who's kind of doing this? I think he's on his own. He's going to try to talk to him. I don't know why. Well, yeah, I know why. Dramatic effect. That's why. His his talks with Reese haven't gone very well. No. <laughs> but he's like, well, I'm off my case. What have I got to lose? Because he knows he is involved in it. <laughs> yeah, but this is like Reese has the home team advantage, doesn't he? Because this is his house. Mm hmm. Totally does. Just like, no. this is not going to end well, bruh. Do you know who he is? He's still idolistic. I am just, it sounds like Batman or S Superman. Mm -hmm. or <laughs> it's probably why they dropped that lot in there. Come on, you knew he wasn't going to kill you, bro. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to take you out of commission because, I mean, you're kind of in my way. You're not my enemy, but you're kind of in my way. I'm going to have to take you out. There you go. You'll wake up. You'll be all right. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Stay off my list. list. Mm -hmm. He just got his butt whipped in, in about five seconds. Yes. <laughs> he knew it was a fool's errand when he did it. But I guess he wanted to, to let him know, even though he already knew. He's probably like, let me get this information. So it's like, so you need to stop. We, we, we know who did it. And he's like, let justice take over. And he's just like, nah. <laughs> Smart ass. Here's how the internet works. I can imagine a boss like that. Here's how the internet works. Yes, I did. Where'd it go then? Come on now, girl. Mm. He's like, come on now. This is very ominous. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Mm-hmm. Really? Hmm. Really? If she's interested, what you just blocked her from sending the actual report interested. It doesn't sound like she has a choice. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Well. More information we found out in... Uh, in this episode we certainly did um certainly there is a lot going on and i don't know um it's a little bit deeper than what i thought because i don't really know what gene T triple horns character uh is capable of hartley i don't know what she's capable of and i don't know how she's thinking of handling this like does she make calls like this I don't know, but apparently she did, and she's got enough power where she just intercepted, you know, intercepted her communication. Didn't didn't let go out. Yeah, it's shocking. And even more shocking, what is going to be Hartley's explanation for signing off on an experimental drug? that was unknowingly passed on to those Navy SEALs. I mean, it's just like, think, you know, you're just some garden, you know, just, just a nurse, like, oh, it's a B12 shot. Okay. You know, this is going to be good for you. And you're just doing your job. And then you find out that someone way, 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 way up above you is using you as a conduit to bring harm to someone on purpose. And then hearing just, one of the uh, men say that it's not illegal, that was disturbing. That was very disturbing. I'm like, what do you mean it's not illegal? It's totally illegal. <laughs> I, I'm like, try to explain to me how that isn't illegal. So perhaps that is what they're going to explain in uh, in episode episode eight. So. Wow, that's going to end it for episode seven here. Give you folks some time to kind of 
digest it with everything that happened. And we got to find out last person on the list is Hartley. So once you, once you get on uh, Jack Carr's list, I, <laughs> hmm. Well, he's already told one person to stay off his list, but I don't think that man's going to stop. He's determined to keep going. And the last place I want to be is in, in um, Reese's house because that seems to kind of like be a hotbed of where people get killed. I don't want to be in there. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what were you, what were you thinking? I think this, I think this guy, I think, um, as FBI agent, I think he, was the FBI or us marshals. I think he's a marshal. He's a marshal. Yeah. It's, he, he seems to be so idealistic because he works within the justice department. Like let the justice happen for this case you just need to stop and of course Reese is just like no no especially when he says I am justice you know? <laughs> like yeah. you were saying like a Batman line <laughs> and we understand it's like just was it was it justice you know that his family was killed that you know basically all of his platoon was killed and he just feels that it's kind of like what the mentality that some vigilantes have. They're just like, justice failed for me. I can't trust justice. I can't trust the judicial process to handle this. So I'm going to handle it myself. Absolutely. And it's, it's not exactly the same situation, but it's like in The Departed where one of the, one of the um, characters decides to put on uh, you know, one of those white Tyvek suits and go into somebody's apartment and, and, and exact justice because he knows mm -hmm. that the person never going to show up in court. They're never going to find him. And, and he cannot, he cannot have that be the case. He's like, I can't go out like this. So I've got to do what I need to do, get in, get out and, you know, and go home. And that's exactly what happens here. You know, I don't know what this man was thinking he was going to, you know, negotiate or speak to Reese about, especially after the bombs. <laughs> I don't think I would even approach him after the bomb, after that first bomb situation. Well, they don't know about, they don't know it's him who did the first bomb, right? That's right. They really, uh, they really don't know. They have, they have no idea. The only people who knew um, were the people in that room that unfortunately, you know, got blowed up. <laughs> so they're the only people that, uh, that know that Reese was involved um, with that. And yeah. the one U.S. Marshal, only because he knew what Reese was like and explosions tend to follow Reese and considering where it happened, he was just like, there can only be one person who yeah, would so. be ballsy enough to blow up the Admiral's office. There's only one person and I know where he lives at. Absolutely. And he, you know, that guy had his police scanner, you know, how like some people have their police scanners on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I got nothing to do and I got plenty of time now. So I'm going to go after, go after this guy. So any last thoughts on episode seven, my dear? Well, it feels like things have come to a head and I'm concerned that the reporter was not able to send out her, um, her story. And as I said, always send it by a text message. Even if it's like the longest text message you've ever sent, always send it by a text message because it'll go, it's going to go out there. It'll, you know, do its little thing. Chances mm -hmm. are that's going to send out faster even than your email. So even if it's like a 10,000 page, whatever, send it via PDF and a text message in your, mm -hmm. your messages, you know, just in case you ever find yourself in a situation where. Exactly. <laughs> you, there's a thing kind of like Dropbox. You need to use that. Yes. And encryption. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So, folks, that is going to wrap it up for episode seven of the Terminal List. So exciting. So exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed the watch party. So we will see you later. Sign it off in advance for the YouTube broadcast for episode seven.